Well, Skyler, an exciting uh, finish to your road trip over the weekend, the, the overtime winner against Lewis Clark State. Uh, it's, the, it's the fourth game that you played against them, and the, the same thing happened uh, when you played them here. You lost the first game and rallied to win the second. Uh, what does that mean for the team when you guys are able to, to rally like that and win? Um, I think it really just means that we're good at like overcoming adversity. We made some adjustments after the first game and came out stronger. We just had to fight for it. So. Talk about how that game ended and take me through that last play, Addison Gardner hitting the buzzer beating three. Uh, it started with the inbounds to you. Tell me all about that play. Um, well, Addison was hot the whole game, um, sharp shooter. So we just coached drew up a play trying to get her open. Um, I guess we kind of just knew that the defense was going to collapse a lot in the last second. So um, I kind of knew that's who I was going to be looking for, knew that she was going to be ready to hit it. So. Once we got the inbound, I just did my job, drove and found her on the outside and she knocked it down. So it was pretty clutch. Yeah, coach was saying after the game, one of the options would be either a layup inside for you or a kick to Addison. When you got the inbounds pass, could you kind of tell right away you were going to kick it to her? Um, yeah, I kind of figured that right away. Um, they had been collapsing pretty much the whole game, um, just turning their heads. So I kind of knew that she was going to be open on the backside. And as soon as I saw the girl turn around, I just looked for her. So. Talk about that moment a little bit after the ball goes in and just kind of rushing over to her and celebrating with her. What was that like? Um, it was just, it was crazy. Um, we kind of all expected it, but didn't expect it at the same time. You know, it was just kind of like a shocking moment. Um, she just broke down into tears. We were all emotional, tired. Um, and so it was really just an emotional moment and we were just so happy um, to get the win, especially like that. What a great way to like end the weekend, I guess. So it was awesome. Yeah, talk a little bit about what, what she's meant to this team, especially for you and a lot of the newcomers. Uh, it's a player who's been in this program for three years, really knows what the culture is like. What has she meant uh, leadership-wise? Um, leadership-wise, she does great. Um, she's always more of like a quiet leader that helps us on the sideline, you know, helps, um, definitely helps me going through the plays and stuff like that, always reminding me where to go. Um, always encouraging me, letting me know that it's okay if I mess up every now and then. And um, yeah, she definitely has been helping us in the games, getting hot and just helping us get on runs with shooting the ball and stuff like that. So, so you are you are new to the Yellow Jacket program this year, but a, a couple of years of college experience under your belt, so that has probably helped you a little bit. Talk about what the transition's been like and what it's been uh, like being on this team. Um, well, of course, it was. It's always different coming to a new team, new program, new coaches. But it's honestly been awesome. Um, Everyone on the team has been really accepting and really good at like keeping me up and trying to get me involved with everything. Coaches have been the same way, super patient with me, trying to figure out my place on the team and how to fit in and stuff like that. So even though I did have basketball experience in college before I came here, it was definitely something completely new. And everyone has really helped me just like find my spot on the team, I guess. And you had another really exciting game last week at Rocky. You guys pulled off the win by two points. And that's who you play again this week. You have them coming up on Wednesday at home. Uh, what was that game like? What do you think you'll focus on to prepare for them a second time? Um, I think the game was a little bit surprising to us. Um, they came out a lot more aggressive than what we expected. So I think in the game coming up, we just need to be the aggressors. We need to set the tone more for ourselves instead of letting the other team set the tone for us. So I think that's definitely something we should focus on for the game Wednesday. Well, Coach, you're coming off a really exciting victory on the road. Once again, your team rallied to win after losing the night before to the same opponent. you got to be pretty proud of the way that the team uh, fought on the road last week. I really am. Uh, you know, we won two of three games, and they were all very close. It could have easily been uh, three losses, and we came out on top on two close games, once at Rocky on Wednesday, and then um, Friday night to a didn't shoot very well and then came back the next day even with more legs a little bit more tired and, and shot it better and, and found a way to win in overtime. It was really exciting. Yeah, talk about that a little bit. Addison Gardner, the big hero there, a three-year player in your program, hits the biggest shot of her basketball life, uh, named the GNAC Player of the Week today. Just talk about uh, that play there. I'm really happy for Addison. Uh, you know, she like you said, she's she's stuck around and she didn't play a lot those first two years, and uh, she's making the most of this opportunity. She worked hard in the off season, and uh, she's really consistent for us uh, from the three point line. But she's also uh, improving other parts of her offensive game, and and she's just a competitor and is in the right place a lot defensively. But uh, the play was. Uh, you know, just designed to uh, get Skyler the ball, and we needed 
two or three. Uh, to be honest, I'm glad we got three because of foul trouble and injuries, etc. I'm not sure how, what kind of lineup we would have had at the end, but uh, Skyler did a nice job of driving, and Addison was had, was open on the weak side and um, and moved to get catch the ball a little bit better and let it fly. She her quote was she chucked it up there, but I actually think uh, she had a pretty good look at it, and I was right behind her and I uh, went right in, and uh, it was really neat because she was very emotional right after. She later told me that uh, that was her first buzzer beater of her life and uh, so nothing but uh, props to her and, and Skyler for getting her the ball, Carrie Ann the inbound pass and uh, our team just uh, played so well that, that day. And you were involved in the play coaching, but but kind of a special game. You uh, give Alicia Green the opportunity to be the uh, head coach for the game. Talk about that a little bit and the job she did. Yeah, it's just something I wanted to do. I actually. Uh, talked to her probably a week or maybe more about it and wanted her to think about it. Uh, there was no pressure on her to, to win or lose. Um, some people wonder, was it done because it's an exhibition game? No, the, the exhibition thing is just a title. Uh, we treat exhibition games just like regular games, um, but I thought it would be a good opportunity for her. And uh, I actually wanted to um, help her from the, the assistant role like she helps me and see how that went and I got to I learned some things during the game uh, from talking with Spen and the team and I had a great time and tried to help her uh, she did let me uh, kind of throw that last play in and you know heck it when they go in that uh, it works but uh, uh, Alicia did an, a great job and I'm really proud of her as well as the team. Well, the week ended on a very exciting note, and it started that way, too. Your win over Rocky, a two-point victory, hard fought at their place. They're coming in here on Wednesday. It'll be another good game. What are your thoughts after watching your team play them once? Well, we were fortunate to come out on top last Wednesday. I mean, we got down early and then uh, went ahead with midway through the fourth quarter and then let, let them come back, and they actually went ahead, and we had to scramble to come out of there with a win. Uh, their lineup was obviously a lot different than we anticipated. Um, we're not... Uh, going to be as as out in the dark on some of their players but uh, they they played a great game they were very motivated and uh, no matter who plays for them this week I know they'll be ready and we're hoping to uh, compete and and uh, get the most of it uh, I thought Danny Zahn played a great game at Rocky unfortunately that injury she um, sustained is more serious and she'll be out the rest of the season so um, we're gonna have to overcome that situation Danny had been doing so well and that was really one of her top games games of the year but uh, we're, we're excited to play and any game you get this time of year Evan we're gonna we're gonna um, do our best.